So we'll see if they're able to put it together here on Detroit Uplink. Yeah, that last time we played this map, they did lose that Uplink, which ended that series, putting OBCL in the grand finals for that guaranteed top two finish. Uh, we're starting with Rose from OBCL running that sub with two ooh, with two stuns, voice crack. It's been a rough day for me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've been screaming a lot, and that's fun. <laughs> but my boy Rose has this up. So we're pushing up to blue. That seems like the uh, route he's taking at the moment. And he sees him pushing blue, has two stuns in his back pocket. No one's going to be coming to challenge him inside of blue. He's looking at the door sill just in case someone does come. Rose's going to sit here until he sees someone and he's going to pick up the kill, which is right in front of him. Missing a couple shots, but going to regroup. Still standing up for blue. You want to see some teammates trying to flank him from blue. Look on your minimap here. He's in a gunfight right now, and he gets taken out by Easy Dinosaur. You see instincts. He's going to go ahead and play this ball in pit. He might try to bait a player out of school here as he does, but he will get picked up by the player in school. As we were on board with Easy Dinosaur 706, one of the best players to ever play the game. If you haven't heard of Easy Dinosaur, you're a clown. As he picks up a flank here on Instinct XN, and BP is screaming because he just gets an awesome three piece. Easy Dinosaur stops moving because his controller died. So BP picks up the easy four piece on a player who's not playing. As we hop on board with Profeezy, he's going to be able to shut down this push into school. He'll picks up one, picks up two on a nice XO jump. Easy Dinosaur 706, yell and get shit on. Uh, I don't know how you could ever say anything with that type of gamer tag, but here we are with, with Profeezy flanking the spawn out, trying to push the spawn out right now. He will pick up one, will get traded on. Whoa. As Leaving Healer is last alive, as there is a one point that goes in, as Leaving Healer will pick up BP. And he's going to stay in the hill and wait for a relay, possibly, as OBCL is spawning in Garage. Nice shots there by Leaving Healer. BP staying up. He's been playing really well right now. He is five and four. Pick up a four piece in their base to stop a score. Is that nine? Nine and four. Nine and four, I'm sorry. I didn't see that yet. Nine and four on a two kill streak. BP is pushing fire right now. Staying up. He's two in front of him. He picks up one. His teammate killed him. BP pushing through school. He's trying to get this troll with the bow. But that's why he has a teammate there to help him as well. And Ball is going to follow him up. Can they get a two here? You see the MP coming in. He's going to go for a throw, and he gets a dunk. Nice job by Rose. Nice team right there by Zach and Rose. It was Zach and Rose, sorry. Rose and BP. You see Profeezy. All right, Warrior Rose on your screen right now. Pushing up the middle street. Stand up, trying to turn on the guy back alley. Can he get the turn on? Oh, yes, he does. Zach, nice shots by him, but there's going to be a one that goes in, so there's going to be a 2v2. So Rose didn't have any ammo. Oh, my gosh. He just hit a nasty three-piece in the base. That is going to set up for another... Relay, but no, you want to see that Clink is going to get the ball out there. Nice play by him. BP and screaming, your shot is ass. He can't compete with BP. I love it. This is Pittsburgh's finest at its best, and they are getting hyped. His game is getting intense. You want this money here from this 5K. A lot on the line. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of money on the line, and right now you got the cream of the crop of the tournament. Uh, these guys have played for this right to play for this money. So you see Easy is, is Dinosaur is going to go ahead and push out Garage, throw a stun out towards the yellow spawn. Is he going to be able to pick him up? He uh, he gets destroyed by uh, Instincts, XN, who picks up a double. And then BP is going to pick him up. All four are dead. Let's see what BP is able to do. He's going to get set up mid-street. He's going to watch for the rotation back. Actually, he went into school, which is a smart play. They need to get this guy out of lockers. He doesn't know he's there, though. So let's see if he's able to find out. There's one. There's two. Oh. There's three. Oh, Soapy got flanked in the back. However, Instincts does trade as Clink's going to go ahead and rotate around towards middle. As a, oh, no one leaving Hiller with a huge interception right there. And he's able to play it out. So Clink's going to chill middle. Doesn't put shots on Easy Dinosaur. He's going to try to play safe here. He's going to get annihilated right there by leaving Healer, who had him in a tough spot with the auto aim. As Rose is going to trade out. Instinct's going to trade out. We're going to be on board with Silpy as he's going to be pushing this bomb towards middle with his teammate with a bow. Let's see if he's able to pick up anything as he's just kind of sitting here in a corner waiting for someone to push out. Now, something important. I'm going to ask you a quick question. You see that OBCL is on the good side. So we're picking up a two piece as I say this, but OBCL is on the good side. But you see Bank, which is dominating the side. They have a two point lead, which is not good. How important is it to be up going into the next side, especially when you have a good side? I mean, everybody says uh, the good side's obviously super important. Clink picks up a big kill. 
and or Rose picks up a big kill. Um, there's definitely easier ways to push with spawns and uh, head glitches and stuff like that. They say that OBCL is on the easier side. Um, and right now, Vanquish is playing uplink very well, like we said they were going to play. They're playing smart. They're playing it out. 4-2 score right now is Clink's going to pull up the bomb. But it's it's ultra important for you to take a lead when you're on good side because the, the other side is not too easy. However, if you were with us for the winner's bracket finals, this map played pretty even. I feel like... They scored more from the bad side, if you will, than the teams did from the good side. So we'll see if that's going to stick around as leaving healer gets a nice two-piece before if BP and finally puts him down with some nice shots. Amazing game we have on our hands so far, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you're liking the action we're bringing you here at Latitude 360. Oh, Justin. Sorry. Game on 5K. It's insane right now, and it's only the first series. If Vanquish wins this, it's going to go to another series. I don't, I don't see it going that far. But I hope it does. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to see a game seven here between these two teams because these two teams are at each other's throats right now. Every kill, every outgun is, uh, is, is uh, you know, they're getting a, a flurry exchange of words there between each other. So you see an easy, easy dinosaur pick up as OBCL goes three dead right off the bat. Easy dinosaur is going to flank this guy middle. And he doesn't pick up the kill as we see BP does get picked up. However, they did spawn right in spawn as we see a big two-piece from Clink able to shut that down as Profezi is going to be pushing through school trying to keep control. Two dead, three dead right now for OBCL. Uh, Profezi needs to push out and make sure they don't spawn in the back there. He will do that. They will spawn green. Are they going to be able to come off a rotate? Clink with a big out gun on Profezi, but they will get a dunk. It is still 6-2 to as we see Easy Dinosaur. We miss it, but in spawn picks up a big two-piece. BP, nice shots on leaving Healer. He's going to stay alive. He's going to chill out, see if he can't pick up someone by surprise as he's still weak, getting his health back. Looking to get up another kill, and Selfie will put him down, and Profezi will put down Rosé. So let's see if they're going to make a play on the ball and move it forward. Exactly. We're on board with Clink right now in blue, throwing the sun out. Fun fact, this Vanquish squad is from New Jersey, and this OBCL squad is from Pittsburgh. So you kind of have a rival, New Jersey versus Pittsburgh. And, you know, we're in Pittsburgh, so, you know, I want my boys from Pittsburgh to take it. But you see uh, Vanquish and boys, they are just destroying right now. They are uh, putting points on the board up by six on the good side. I told you, if you can get this school control, this side is so great for your score. You see Instincts pushing the garage. P-Pack I mean, mentioned something earlier when we watched this map. Most teams like to take it to garage. If you have a really good garage push, you can get a lot of points out of this. Oh, Instance getting out gun by Soapy. Here's some screaming in the background. Easy Dinosaur, love the gamer tag, pushing through pit. In fire right now. I don't know the teammate that's in front of him, but he's just trying to throw the ball out of middle street. I don't know what that was for. He can try to win this gunfight here. Loses it to BP. He has a bow, so it's kind of depressing, but a one is going to go in. It's 9-2 to two right now, and it's kind of getting out of hand. We know this Vanquish squad is good at playing uplink, but Profezi, he's just really showing his dominance. 17 and 18, not doing the most, but he does have... Does he have an uplink to his name? No, he doesn't. He's actually not playing any at OBJ. And that's 10 to 2 for your Vanquish squad. OBCL is kind of losing control right now. Yeah, we definitely have Vanquish right now. They're kind of hitting their groove, and this is this is great. Vanquish was pretty dominant in a few in a few games, but they were only dominant for a few minutes. They never could put it all together. Vanquish now, we see them with a 10-2 lead here on good side. Two minutes left, or two minutes about two minutes and 15 seconds left. You know they're putting a great performance on right now. They're absolutely dominating this game all the way around. You still have BP and hitting shots at 30 and 20, but you look down the scoreboard and he has a couple of a blank spots. Is BP still outguns Profezi even when he's weak? This kid is one of those players that around Pittsburgh we all know how good he is, but he has never really you no know, not a lot of people know his name. But you know we see Easy Dinosaur and them put them down real quick as Silpy and Squad are going to be pushing this out. We see Leaving Healer. That's uh, that's their AR player. He's absolutely controlling this game, and they're playing really well right now with this. As we see a flank come in, they do stop that. However, I feel like another goal line stop for BP and OBCL. I'm afraid that in a minute and a half, it's a little bit too too little too late, though. Down 10-2, you're not going to be able to be able to string things together if they start playing it on top of the garage, which every time if I, if I was Vanquish, I would play it on top of the garage every single time because you're going to waste 15 seconds off the clock and you can just slay out, which you've had no problem doing to date right now on this map. As you see, as you were saying that, they threw the ball out for the 15 just to slay out and get map control. You've seen Clink. He got away there. I 
thought those for sure a dunk, but Easy Dinosaur coming up clutch and making that stop. Rosie on your screen, actually he's gonna drop as soon as I notice him. Silpy now on your screen, jumping some shots and make the stop. He gets the mantle, probably would have picked up that kill there if it wasn't for that. But you see uh, Clint putting that score through 10 to 4. Oh my gosh, Silpy just flying at him and destroying Rose. No chance, Rose, right there. Silpy pushing through school, looking your longer. He's gonna see one's there, picks him up. He's gonna push out. Silpy stand up, gets taken up by BP. And there's going to be another score coming in. I do believe that is game over. Like uh, PPAC said, uh, too little, too late. They had to have this intensity going from the beginning to the end. Exactly what Vanquish had. Um, so, this game's over. We're going to see this who can get the best stats right now. We're going to see who can pass the stats. You see, Beepin did a really nice job in the slant category. Just his teammates couldn't follow him. And your uh, Vanquish squad. Oh, BP, pick up a nasty two piece as this game is ending. Nice two piece by him. You see, he's heating up. He needs his teammates to follow him, and this would be a really good series. All right, Vanquish takes that map. It's going to be uh, 2 1 in favor of Vanquish. want to run you guys through an ad. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're watching. Thanks.